Hey, what's going on guys? It's Tyler from House of Cards TCG and today I'm bringing you a, it's kind of a dueling book replay as well as showing off Jared's Cyber Dragon deck. Uh, yesterday we posted his Cyber Dragon deck profile. I played a couple matches against him and I thought his deck was really spicy so I wanted to bring you his profile rather than me just doing it myself. So we brought you that Cyber Dragon deck profile. Go check it out. And then today I kind of just want to show some combos off uh, show him basically working me with the cyber dragons so that you can get more familiar with cyber dragons and see how the deck plays as well as the combos that it goes through and how it OTKs you going second basically. So uh, let's dive right on, on into it and we're going to see I believe like seven ties. No lie. I think it was like seven ties between him and I and this was no joke. Like this just happened. Um, yeah, we just keep tying. And then he finally wins. So he goes ahead and he decides to go second, which is typical with Cyber Dragons. So I open up Effect Veiler, Synchron, Effect Veiler, Noctovision Dragon, and another Rocket Synchron. And he opens up Pot of Prosperity, Galaxy Soldier, Infinite Impermanence, Cyber Dragon Core, and Machine Duplication. So going first, I'm going to go ahead and normal out the Synchron, link that off for Striker Dragon, chain the Noctovision Dragon. And then that's going to go ahead and bring out Noctovision Dragon, search the Boot Sector launch. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn those into Romulus because I basically have to at this point. So I activate Romulus effect and Nocto chain link one on this one um, because I've drawn Ravine and I hate drawing Ravine with the Noctovision draw. And I drew into a recharger and I'll be honest with you, this really messed me up and I went through my plays and I was just thinking and um, I, there was definitely more optimal play. Roast me in the comments. I'm going to misplay here. I know it was probably early. I hadn't had my coffee yet. My six-year-old was probably asking me for breakfast and I'm playing dueling book, right? So, um, so on this, I think I pitch a Valor. I do. I should have pitched the recharger. That's my fault. So, uh, that's in the abs, go search the reach tracer. And then I go ahead and activate boot boot effect, summon out. And then here I misplayed again because instead of bringing out tracer and recharger, I brought out Synchron first, and then I, I didn't want to take it back, and I was like, oh, no. I basically said I misplayed here. But again, the whole point of this video is to show off Cyber Dragons. So then I go for Seal, I activate Tracer Effect to pop boot. Then I realize that I don't even have a target because I only play two Tracers. So just completely botched my first turn. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Again, roast me in the comments. I know. Like I said, it was early. Probably hadn't had my coffee yet. So... Now let's go ahead and show you what a Cyber Dragon deck can do. Going second, playing through two interruptions. Um, go main phase one, he's gonna go ahead and imperm my seal. I go ahead and act activate seal, bouncing my boot sector launch, activate seal effect. Seal effect is then gonna go ahead and bring out a chamber. Chamber is gonna search tidying. So now he's already played through one of my interruptions. Now all he has to do is play through a Valor. Then he goes ahead and he normal summons core. Activates core effect. Uh, I let that go through and then that grabs the cyber emergency and then he reveals to me that he has the machine duplication and at this point uh, I really don't have a choice because he's gonna bring out two cyber dragons So on machine duplication this car becomes cyber dragon while in the field. So machine duplication can bring out two OG cyber dragons because this is treated as a cyber dragon on the field um, and then I know the play from there is go Nova Infinity. And then my Valor's dead. I was kind of saving Valor for the um, Anaconda. But at this point, this is my only opportunity to really use the um, Effect Valor, to be honest with you. So what I do is I go ahead and activate Effect Valor. That's going to negate this effect. So what that does is now he can't bring out the Cyber Dragons. He can only bring out Cyber... He can bring out two Cyber Dragon cores because it's no longer treated as... It's no longer considered Cyber Dragon. Um, I hope that makes sense. The little interaction with Cyber Dragons, you can actually Valor the, uh, the target and then make this so that it's not Cyber Dragon anymore. It's core. So now he has to bring out two cores. Um, and that's why I went ahead and threw the Valor out because this was my only opportunity at this point. And then <clears throat> he asks, uh, now do you have Nib? And basically he says, you only live once. So he goes ahead and he links that off for All Mirage, links those two off for the Seeger. And then he's going to go ahead and Cyber Emergency. That's going to go ahead and search him out a Hertz, I believe. Yep, it brings him out a Hertz. 
And then of course he's got the Galaxy Soldier in hand too. That's gonna pitch the Hertz. And then he's gonna go ahead and summon the Galaxy Soldier. And he's gonna chain link one. Let's see, so chain link one, hers, chain link two. Oh, soldier chain link one, sorry. Hers, chain link two. Um, oops, sorry about that. So then he goes ahead and let's see, grabs the OG Cyber Dragon, grabs another Galaxy Soldier. Then he's gonna pitch the Cyber Dragon, summon out the other Galaxy Soldier, overlay those for a Nova. Nova effect is then gonna activate discarding a, or a detaching a Cyber Soldier, Galaxy Soldier, and then bringing out one of his Cyber Dragons. And then he's gonna overlay that for Infinity and it's off to the races now as he links those two off for Anaconda. Seeger does have an arrow pointing this way. And then he's gonna go ahead and activate Anaconda effect. That's gonna send Overload Fusion to the graveyard. And then that is gonna bring out, or he's gonna banish two, that gives it two additional attacks. And I'll read this card to you. So Cyber Dragon Rampage, this is the OTK, the way that Cyber Dragons OTK you. So uh, when this card is Fusion Summoned, you can target spells and trap. That's uh, once per turn, you can send up to two Light Machine Monsters from your deck to the graveyard. And oh, he banishes those to summon the Rampage, sorry. And then he's gonna go ahead and activate Rampage Effect, sending two Cyber Dragons. And then what that does, is it allows him to, uh, um, this gains one additional attack. So now this can attack three times in battle phase because it's original attack as well as two additional cyber dragons that it sent. And then he's gonna go battle phase, activate Seeger in battle phase. And what Seeger says is you can target one machine monster you control with 2100 or more attack for the rest of the turn that monster gains 2100 attack and defense. Also, neither player takes any battle damage from attacks involving this monster. So now, his Rampage can attack three times, and it's at 4,200 attack. So it's kind of insane. Uh, he's going to attack with Infinity, get rid of my um, Dragon Maid, and then he's going to attack with Seeger. I don't take any battle damage, but he can still hit over my monster. And then basically swing three times. He only has to swing twice, to be honest with you, but that's game. So going into game two, I'm going to decide to go first. And let's see what we open up here. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Rocket Tracer. Forbidden Chalice, Droll and Lockbird, Saferd, and a Nib. And then he opens up Hearse, Dark Roller No More, Fusion Destiny, Machine Duplication, and Imperm, which you can see in his deck profile that he's playing Dragoon in the side deck. So he decided to not put Dragoon in and actually keep the Fusion Destinies. So let's see what happens here. So May Phase 1 to go ahead and Saferd. Saferd Effect is then going to tag out. And then that is going to go ahead and search out a Black Dragon. Then I'm going to banish Saferd. Summon out the Black Dragon, link that off for a Striker Dragon, Chain Link 1 Striker, Chain Link 2 Black Dragon. That's going to go ahead and search the White Dragon Extender as well as Boot Sector Launch. Then we're going to go ahead and summon out the White Dragon, and then we're going to link those two off and go into a Seal. And then we're going to activate Boot Sector Launch. That's going to bring out the Rocket Tracer. Activate Tracer Effect. That's going to pop Boot, bring out the Recharger, and then I'm going to turn those two into a Chaos Ruler. Chaos Ruler Effect is going to activate, and I think this gets met with an Imperm, it sure does. So he Imperms the Chaos Ruler Mill. I set Chalice. So basically, this turn, I have a Seal Bounce, Chalice Negate, Droll and Lockbird for a deck that searches a lot, and then a Nib if uh, for a backup play. So he goes ahead and top decks another Imperm. This dude's nuts, man. I'm telling you, this dude, he, he, Jared is a really good, just deck loves him, okay? So he's gonna go ahead and imperm my seal. This time I let that go through. And then he normal summons hers, act activates the um, machine duplication again. So two games in a row, he has machine duplication, which means the end for me basically, if he has that. Uh, so activates machine dupe, I let that one go through because I have a nib. And I'll, well, my thinking was I have nib chalice. So chalice can negate the infinity. I can basically let him go full combo I can Chalice negate Infinity, nib the whole board. So he brings out the two Cyber Dragons. He's gonna overlay those for Nova. I let that go through. And I actually asked to read Infinity. I just wanna double check something. And then he's gonna overlay for Infinity. He's gonna link that off for a Mega Fleet, or actually Contact Fuse his hearse with my seal for a Mega Fleet. So then that's gonna go ahead and um, get rid of that without allowing me to summon out. So I probably, when he Imperm Seal, um, I didn't want to play around talents was my thinking here because if I do talents, then he's going to see my hand. 
Um, and unfortunately, he hasn't done any searching. But I didn't want him to see my hand because I didn't want him to knock the nib. So that's why I didn't activate seal. But he goes ahead and contact fuses that away. And then he's going to grab the cyber dragon off the hers. And then infinity is going to go ahead and attach that, which I'm perfectly fine with because now it's just going to go to my grave when I nib the board. And yeah, so he's going to go ahead and fusion destiny. I think that's a beautiful thing. Now, I was not expecting that at the end of his play, but he goes ahead and does that and battle phase. And then I say, hold up and main. I'm going to go ahead and activate nib. He's going to activate infinity. Then I'm going to chain chalice on infinity to negate infinity. Then he does his uh, thing with DPE. So DPE is a very difficult card to deal with in Dragon Link. Um, so basically nib the whole board. And then I ask for the stats. It's 5,100 over 1,600. So I def definitely is put in defense. And then I top tackle Valor, unfortunately. Um, have a light engraved so I can bring back my Chaos Ruler. But it's just not, I have no engine at this point. So DPE comes back. May phase one, I'm going to go ahead and bring back the Chaos Ruler. So here I was thinking, okay, all I have to do in re-looking at this, what I should have done was went into battle phase, forced out the Enforcer with one of these two with the Valor, because Valor plus one of these two make Hulk, which then can make a Unicorn, which then I can spin back something and kind of put him on top deck. So, um... But then I was thinking about that play, and I was like, uh, so I went ahead and I uh, normal summoned the Veiler. He activates Enforcer, and he is a very smart player, a very good player, because he outs my Veiler. And uh, yeah, that was, a, that was the best thing he could hit. Even having these two bodies on the field, he hits my Veiler. Uh, it activates the Enforcer effect, and we're, I'm just telling him right now, I'm like, man, that was like the best thing you could have hit, and I was really hoping that you didn't, because I could have went into Hauk, I could have went into Hot Red, there were so many different plays, so... Basically, I'm just going to attack here for 3,000, pass the turn. He grabs the Cyber Emergency. Enforcer, of course, comes back. Cyber Emergency grabs him the core. And then you already know from the profile, it's a one-card combo with core. Oh, he grabs Nasher. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit different. So he grabs Nasher. And then he's going to go ahead, and I'm going to drill him there. He activates Nasher. He normal summons it. If it's normal special, you can target one machine monster with 2100 attack and defense in your graveyard. Special summon it. Also, you cannot special summon monsters except machines for the rest of the turn. So he activates Nasher. Nasher's going to go ahead and bring him back, I think, one of his Cyber Dragons. Brings back his Nova. This is why he plays two Infinities. Infinity Effect is then going to go ahead and scoop my Nib up. And then he's going to enforce her. He's going to pop my Chaos Ruler and his Nasher. And he's basically going to hit me for 5000 here. And I'm sitting on top deck, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up a Chaos Base and emit the fee. GG's. So, Jared showing off his Cyber Dragon deck that we brought to you the profile with. You can tell that he's been playing this for three years. He loves Cyber Dragons. So definitely check out his deck profile because he's a really, really, really good Cyber Dragon player, as you can see in this replay. So make sure to go check him out. Uh, give him some love on the profile. Like and subscribe if you can. And I appreciate everybody watching this and getting to learn, see a little bit of a different replay with a really, really, really good Cyber Dragon player. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you don't roast me too bad in the, in the comments for misplaying so bad, but it happens sometimes. But more importantly, we wanted to show off Cyber Dragons on the, de on the, on the channel. So this has been Tyler with House of Cards TCG signing out.